the sixth annual Source Maine Sustainability Awards, presented by the Portland Press Herald and Maine Sunday Telegram. We recognize Maine people who contribute to the state's environmental well being through consistent sustainable practices. From large organizations to individuals making an impact in their community, the winners of the Source Awards inspire us all. This program is generously supported by Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare Foundation, Hannaford Supermarkets, Lee Auto Malls, and Dental Lace. Even though we can't be together in person, we can still celebrate each of these amazing winners and say thank you. Hannaford is proud to recognize these people's contributions to our community. Even though we can't be together, we can still celebrate each of these amazing winners and say thank you. I am pleased to introduce you to the first honoree of 2020, Dr. Marissa McMahon, a scientist focused on preserving Maine's fishing traditions and the health of the Gulf of Maine. My name is Dr. Marissa McMahon, and I won the Invasives Innovator Award for the 2020 Source Sustainability Awards. I work for a sustainability nonprofit called Manamet, and I'm the director of the fisheries division. And what we try to do in the fisheries division is really work towards restoring ecosystem productivity and also diversifying fisheries opportunities for fishermen and coastal communities here in Maine. That's important because right now the Gulf of Maine is warming faster than 99% of the rest of the world's oceans. So we are experiencing incredible environmental change here and we're very dependent on just a few fisheries. And so working towards restoring our ecosystems will make us more resilient to that climate change and diversifying our fisheries opportunities will provide new ways that fishermen and coastal communities can make a living from the ocean. Hi, I'm Bree Warner, the CEO and President of Atlantic Sea Farms, and we have won the Seaweed Supplier Award for the 2020 Source Awards. Well, at Atlantic Sea Farms, we are a first-to-market kelp product producer, and our bottom line, our main mission is to help diversify the coastal economy in the face of rising climate change. And we do that through a number of ways. One, we work with fishermen up and down the coast from Portland to Eastport, and we help them become kelp farmers. We provide technical assistance, we grow seeds and give them to them for free, and we guarantee purchase of every one of those strands of kelp that we get back in here at the end of the season. Kelp also helps mitigate some of the effects of ocean acidification locally. It takes carbon and nitrogen out of the water and actually reduces ocean acidification within the kelp halo. The third part of that is kelp is really good for you. It's got more calcium than any food on the planet. It's got a ton of potassium, ton of vitamin B12, iodine, magnesium, and I try to get some in my smoothies every day because it's a nice nutrition boost. Hi, I'm Daniel Mays from Frith Farm, and we've won the Force Field Award from the 2020 Source Sustainability Awards. We grow three acres of no-till organic vegetables, as well as mixed perennials um, and plants for sale, and we sell directly to local customers. So this is the woods, this is plot one, so we're going to start in, in the, in the yeah. third bed. We, we do this work to provide healthy food to our community and to provide a, a beautiful place for, for our neighbors and for our employees and ourselves. Hi, I'm Bill Whitmore, Vice President of Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare's Maine Market. Each year, the stories from the Source Award winners are inspiring. This year, in the midst of the pandemic, they feel more uplifting and reassuring than ever. Their work has immediate and long-term effects that will benefit us all. The Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare Foundation is proud to help recognize their contributions to our community. Each year, the Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare Foundation presents a Source Maine Sustainability Award to a healthy food champion. This year, we honor Amara Efeji, a senior from Bangor High School and self-described water quality fanatic. We can do without food 
um, for a time being. We can do without shelter for a time being. But without water, um, even for just a couple of days, um, we're pretty much doomed. Um, so water is so important. It's the basis of pretty much everything. It's, I mean, we are 60% water. It's super, super, super important. And it's so sad to hear that water is a human right and people are being robbed of, of clean drinking water. And that's why I find it to be so, so, so important. Hi, I'm Linda Rice. I'm the winner of the Lakes Lobbyist Award from the 2020 Source Sustainability Awards. I represent the North Pond Association and I wear many hats within that organization. I am the volunteer coordinator for the courtesy boat inspections. I also am a certified invasive plant patroller and the secretary of the North Pond Association. Everything on the lake is connected, whether it be erosion control and runoff, preventing nutrients from going into the lake and causing algae blooms, or choking our lakes with invasive plants. It's all connected. I have incredible memories of this place growing up. I can't imagine having a better childhood than summer times in Maine and summer times in the Belgrade. And North Pond has always been a part of that legacy. Hi everyone, I'm Will Bonsall. I'm the director of something called the Scatter Seed Project. And as such, I've been very honored to be uh, selected for the Seed Saving Award for the 2020 uh, Source Sustainability Award. And uh, it basically is on the basis of my Scatter Seed Project. Um, and to tell you a little bit about that, um, it is a project that I started way back around 1981, uh, which is to collect and conserve and share uh, seeds of um, an enormous variety of crop plant genetic diversity. As time went along, I became more aware of this crisis, if you will, of uh, genetic uh, erosion, the loss of genetic diversity in our crop plants. And quite frankly, that has never been more obvious than in our current situation. With the coronavirus epidemic, people are becoming painfully aware uh, of how vulnerable we are to disruptions of the things that are important in our lives, and particularly um, the sources of our food and the seeds for those food. Hi, I'm Jean Stairs with the Bicycle Coalition of Maine, and we've won the Pedal Pusher Award for the 2020 Source Sustainability Awards. So we're a statewide um, advocacy organization that does uh, both education work on bike, biking and walking safety. So we do a lot of work with kids, especially on how to be safe on your bike or as a pedestrian. Uh, and then we do um, advocacy work on uh, ways to make biking and walking safer. We also do what we call these Imagine People Here demonstrations that actually are temporary um, installations in like a street corner or something about how you could slow down traffic and make it safer for biking and walking. We do a, a couple of big events throughout the year. Um, we do a big bike swap where people can bring their bikes to sell where you can buy the bikes and then we do a week-long bike ride every year called Bike Maine that goes to a different part of the state um, each year. Hi, I'm Adam Lee, chairman of Lee Auto Malls. Over the last couple of months, a sustainable local food supply chain has never been more vital. For the third year in this program, I want to recognize farmers who are feeding Maine and improving the land through organic practices. This year, I present the Healthy Farm Champion Award to the Bonner Farm. And now I want to introduce my friend, Sarah Alexander, Executive Director of the Maine Organic Farmers and Gardeners Association, to present this year's Russell Libby Agricultural Scholars. Hi, I'm Sarah Alexander, Executive Director of the Maine Organic Farmers and Gardeners Association, or MOFCA. For the past six years, we've teamed up with Lee Auto Malls and the Portland Press Herald Maine Sunday Telegram to award scholarships to those pursuing careers in sustainability in honor of the late, great Russell Libby. This year's winners are Madison Jones, a high school senior from Lemoyne who plans to study sustainable agriculture in college. Matthew Dow, a Mafka journey person who runs Sweetland Dairy Farm in Albion. 
and Snow Ross, a teacher at Trenton Elementary School. We look forward to these individuals making a difference in our communities. Congratulations to the 2020 Source Maine Sustainability Award winners. Thank you again to our sponsors, Harvard Pilgrim Healthcare Foundation, Hannaford Supermarkets, Lee Auto Malls, and Dental Lace. Thank you for watching.